It's That's about right. to get fun. Last day of June, yes. officially summer. It is. Summer in the city means Shakespeare in the Park is back. The yes. public theater is running free performances of Hamlet now through August. This is the best time of the year. It really is. And making her Shakespeare debut as Ophelia is Soleil Pfeiffer. You might remember her as one Penny Lane in Broadway's Almost Famous. You always wonder where you are and why it has to be so far to Morocco. Oh, gosh. Take my breath away. Take my breath away. That's right. <laughs> Soleil Pfeiffer is joining us live this morning on the couch. Hello. Hello. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it is a treat yeah. to have you here. It really is. Um, you're taking a different turn, Shakespeare in the Park. Yes. Shakespeare in the Park. It's an institution in New it's York It's iconic. Yeah. It's iconic. It's a New York tradition. I have never felt more like a New Yorker. Yes. Like, I think I can officially <laughs> say it. <laughs> I'm officially a New Yorker now. And I am just having the time of my life. Like, I can't even tell you guys. No. I am loving this experience so much. I'm so proud of the show. Oh, oh my now gosh. Now through August. Get it in the calendar, mm -hmm. Maddie. Right. So, Okay, so you're in you, Hamlet. Yes. yes. I'm in Hamlet. Like, you are. You play. Ophelia. Ophelia. It's, it's a pretty, I mean, if you, if you don't know Shakespeare, you know Hamlet. You know Hamlet. Talk to us about the role. How do you prepare to get into Ophelia? Where are you drawing from? Have you watched other productions? Have you read? Yeah. What do you do? I mean, I have. I, I took in, like, every version of it that I could mm -hmm. find online. There are so many. I think the cool thing about this was that we were gonna make this our own. Kenny yes. Leon, our Tony Award winning director, he really let us create this show. It takes place in Atlanta in 2021, very specifically. And so this is an updated, this is a Hamlet for everyone. Oh, yes. It's a modern day, they let me sing. We have an original score by the brilliant Jason Michael Webb. And so I'm just getting to like, I'm really like sowing my oats this summer. Yes, you what? are. I was gonna, doing my thing. I was gonna yeah. say, if I'm directing you in a nursery <laughs> school, I'm making you sing. I mean, right, you have right. this beautiful voice. Thank you. It's so pure. Thank it's you so it's much. really, it's like magical. Yeah. Thank you. So you, so you sing in Almost Famous, yeah. you sing it in this. Mm -hmm. How is it different? How is it the same? Because starkly different characters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, the cool thing about Ophelia is that she was kind of the blueprint. This was one of the first yeah. roles like this for a woman ever written. And so when I think about it, I'm like, this is a tradition. Hundreds of years, this is a lineage. And I right. feel so lucky to be a part of that tradition, that lineage of women who have taken on this role. And I mean, look at the world right now. Mm. There is so much to draw on. That's right. There's so much to get mad about. So I just have the absolute like perfect place to put all of my frustrations about the world and whatever. I, I have the perfect outlet in playing Ophelia. I mean, every listen, night. we wow. all know Shakespeare was here for the drama. Okay. Holy One smoke. thing he was here for was the drama. Was the drama. He is the drama. <laughs> You've got a busy year. Yeah. Yes. Okay, almost famous as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. Starring in uh, the movie Jazz Man's Blues. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now this. So talk to us about, I mean, this feels like this is this is a dream just kind of playing out in real Absolutely. time. Absolutely. I mean, I think one thing I am learning in this moment is just never count yourself out of the conversation, you know? Right. Never say no to yourself. That's I never right. thought that this would all be happening. You know, when it rains, it really does pour. Mm. And so to be, to be able to open a Broadway show, premiere a film, and then move right on to Shakespeare in the Park, like, I cannot believe it. I am pinching myself and, you know, I, I really am counting my blessings every day. Oh, it is so, so it's wonderful to hear you talk about this. We were talking about you early in the show. You were, we were like, this woman is having a minute right yes. now. Oh more gosh, than a minute. You. It is the season of Soleil. That's right, it is. <laughs> okay. That's the perfect way to put it. Sure. And, I, and I think for a lot of our viewers, for me included, we're constantly like, okay, it's gonna happen for yeah. me. It's yeah. gonna happen for me. It's gonna happen for me. How did you get through when it wasn't happening for you? And oh what, it, what did you tap into to prepare for the moment where you got all the yeses? Oh my gosh, I think it's just the idea of just keep showing up. Just keep showing up for yourself. Like you gotta say yes to yourself over and over and over again. And I'm very big on like, I write down my biggest goals in there my life go. every single morning. You Put know, I'm there. really big on, I'm really big on affirmations and manifestation and I, I am, Life comes from us, not yeah, at us. And yes. So, you know, in the past few years, like, I got to write my own show. It's on Audible. It's streaming right now. I Hold wrote up. it. Yes. This season of Soleil. Hold so, <laughs> so in the past few years, just a few things kind of happened where I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I realized that I had taken myself out of the conversation. And now I'm like, hey, 
everything's possible. All you got to do is kind of claim it and believe that you can and get the people around that's you that right. believe yes, that you that's can. That's true. You know what I mean? Very so important. This has been definitely an abundant um, moment mm. in my life, and I, I don't take it for granted oh my in gosh. the slightest. Mm. For sure. That is fantastic. The show yes. is called New York Living. This one. This one, okay. by the way. Yeah. I'm like still on all of you. Uh, <laughs> so we, we wanted to know for you, favorite things yeah. about living, being, working in New York City, whether it's somewhere you go to eat, you got a favorite bodega, a sporting event that yeah, you like to totally. go to a Totally. Oh my gosh. I mean, I live uptown. I'm an uptown girl. And now I get to, this is the closest I've ever lived to work. So it's so amazing. Oh, it must it's be an easy all commute. about okay. the commute. Okay, right. the commute, blink, and I'm at the park. I'm at work. It's, it's amazing. And I am just loving, I mean, truly, I think... I had forgotten what an amazing gem. We have this glorious treasure in Central Park. Mm -hmm. And you walk in there every day for work. It's the most life-affirming thing. It's just people enjoying each other's company. Oh my gosh. There's so many puppies. There's so <laughs> many babies. There's like the whores and carriages. I'm yep. just like, are we living in a fairy tale? Like so much is happening in <laughs> this the This is a Hallmark movie. You That's know right. what I mean? It's a Hallmark. Like you walk in, you're like, I am living in a Hallmark movie. Yeah. And so I'm just like, get to the park, everyone. If you're having a day, like it has been just like the perfect balm, I think, for my soul that, to be able to walk in that, every day. It's so lovely to hear you say that, and that, that must be a stark contrast to almost fa famous was you, yeah. There were no puppies in the audience. I there were think. no <laughs> puppies on the way to work. Yeah. And I love Midtown. I love Broadway yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But this is so amazing because it's all the, all the tickets are free. Yeah. They're yes. easy to get, and you know that you are getting people from all over the city who are just coming to take part in this in this tradition. Like mm -hmm. the Delacorte has been around for sixty years. Some of the most amazing actors and actresses of our time have graced that stage, mm -hmm. and I can't believe that I just get to be in the same space that they were. And this is the last iteration of the Delacorte court before it gets remodeled. Oh, oh boy. Gosh. Yes. This is special. So, so it you, is. Do you get it to is. take a piece of the theater with you? Like on Listen, the last performance? She would. Like, I'm leaving with something. <laughs> I'm leaving with something. As you should. <laughs> I I should. As you should. You're a part of history. But I, I just, going back to, I don't know why this just dawned on me. Have you seen Fat Ham on Broadway? Oh, yeah. Oh, we all went as a cast to go see it. And they all came and visited us. It's been like the most beautiful. Oh, it feels nice. like this kind of like, that's like our sibling show yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it, the, the, the two pieces are in such like conversation yeah. with each other. That, and, and so getting to see theirs, like really informed ours. And, you know, I, I yeah, I, it, they came and supported us and were so vocal. It was such a great Oh, great I love this so much. But yeah, the public has two beautiful iterations. I mean, shout out to the public for shout doing Shout out to the, the public just in general. Just but God. yeah. The that, public um, theater, ma'am, where, where everything comes to where take flight. Comes. Well, yes. listen, you have this year of yes and all this manifestation. Yes. What is a dream role? Oh my gosh. What a fantastic question. Or do you keep it inside and then you'll come back and tell us? You know what? <laughs> you know, I am hoping to continue if I just get to keep on being in spaces with, that are collaborative with artists who want to create art that means something in the world, mm. then I am blessed. I'm happy. That is my, my I, I hope to keep writing, producing in my own right. I'm seeing it all, ladies. So I love you know, we, are, we are as well. But I right, feel like I'm floating right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, no. So uh, right now I'm just kind of sitting in this moment. And I might have something coming up soon that Ooh. I'm not quite allowed to talk okay. about. Okay. But there might be another She another just show judged on her the, curls. And I know. She was another big. show on the horizon. <laughs> okay. If you will. <laughs> well, and when so, you are allowed to say, please come back, sit right in that we'll same spot do. and tell. I would love okay. to. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, So Leia Pfeiffer. So lovely. So, so remember lovely. Remember the face, remember the voice, remember the name. <laughs> That's right. Okay. To learn more about Shakespeare in the Park and see the schedule for Hamlet, you can visit publictheater.org. Run, don't walk. I through know. August. Yes. Through August. Right.